Joe Biden just doesn't get it. He doesn't seem to understand the difference between a controversial jobs bill now under discussion in Congress and the right of law-abiding citizens to be able to be free from the violence of murderers and rapists. The other day, he said in a speech that if the Congress does not pass a controversial jobs bill, which bill is now under discussion in Washington, D.C., the ability of people to be able to be free from murderers and rapists will be diminished. However, he's off the wall. There is no correlation between this jobs bill and the ability of law-abiding American citizens to defend themselves from murderers and for law-abiding American women especially to be able to defend themselves from rapists. What's really needed and what Joe Biden ought to be aware of and support is national reciprocity for the carrying of concealed firearms. Under this idea, people who have permits to carry concealed firearms issued by a state may carry such firearm in other states. If this, if this bill were to become law, it would increase the ability of law-abiding American citizens to be able to defend themselves against murderers. And for women especially, to be able to defend themselves against rapists. The chief proponent of this idea in Congress is Congressman Cliff Stearns of Florida who for at least 10 years has been advocating measures similar to this. It appears likely that the House of Representatives will be voting soon on his proposal, which is H.R. 822. Congressman Stearns also is a chief proponent in the United States House of Representatives for the right to life. His support of the right to keep and bear arms and of the right to life shows the intricate connection between the right to self-defense and the right to life. Politicians like Joe Biden and others such as Senator Chuck Schumer of New York Senator Dick Durbin of Illinois and Senator Dianne Feinstein of California should quit hypocritically maintaining that they support the rights of the people and in fact support the real rights of the people. The real rights of the people to be able to carry the guns they need to defend themselves against criminals, especially violent criminals and especially murderers and rapists. It's time for Joe Biden to quit pontificating. For leftist senators like Schumer, Durbin, and Feinstein to quit pontificating and to act holier than thou and to really fight for the rights of the people, to really fight for the right of law-abiding citizens to be able to carry the guns they need to defend themselves from the violent elements in our society. We call upon Americans everywhere to let their senators and their representatives know that they support national reciprocity for the carrying of concealed firearms, that they support the right of law-abiding American citizens to self-defense, that they support the right of law-abiding American citizens to obtain the guns they need.
for self-defense, to preserve their lives, and to preserve their integrity.